All right. So like Umbrish mentioned, this, is, this has huge potential for you. Right? Because if you look at it, traditionally, the living room and the entire TV ecosystem has been closed, fragmented, and totally inaccessible. You've never had a chance to really engage with those users spending five hours a day in front of this device. Well, today, that can change. Our goal with Google TV is to create an entire new category of devices that are built around openness. Open for users to go wherever they want on the open web. Open for developers to create new applications specifically targeted for the living room. And open to content owners to create new experiences around their existing content and new ways to distribute it. Your TV just got a lot smarter. And our goal is to have the same impact on the TV experience that the smartphone had on the mobile experience. But of course, we can't do this alone. We need the help of the entire TV ecosystem to take the platform and push it forward, whether it be a manufacturer, or an operator, a distributor, or more. And the only way we do that is if we are open as well. So I'm also happy to announce that what you saw today, the Google TV platform, will be open sourced into both the Android and Chrome source trees. <clears throat> OK, so now we've talked a lot about the platform and the product. So one major question still left. How is this coming to market? Well, happy to say we're coming in a big way. Because we've partnered with some of the world's leading consumer electronics brands, as well as those leading the TV ecosystem, to deliver three Google TV devices. The first is from a company you may have heard of called Sony. One of the leading innovators. Thank you. One of the leading innovators in consumer electronics and on the television itself. They will be launching a full line of integrated TVs and an integrated Blu-ray player. Second, it's from Logitech, another innovating company for living room technology. They will be launching a companion box, which allows you to easily integrate Google TV within your existing setup. And the great thing is they're going to be creating an entire new set of peripherals around Google TV. So you can even take the experience we showed you today and even go further. And then for the chipset, we've partnered with Intel. Intel will be powering all three of these devices with their Intel Atom processor, which can allow us to have a great experience across TV and web. And it's coming in fall 2010. <laughs> so it's going to be an exciting year. But there's more. We've also partnered with Dish Network. We've actually been working with this for several months now on this platform to really get the user experience right. And we're actually working on an enhanced Google TV experience using the IP control protocol that Vincent actually mentioned earlier. So Dish subscribers will be able to seamlessly integrate their DVR and VOD content into the Google TV experience. And then finally, we need a way to get it to, into your hands. So we've partnered with Best Buy the nation's leading consumer electronics company, to get these products directly into your hands in an easy way. All right, so what's the timeline for developers? Well, like Ambrish mentioned, today you can start taking your existing sites and enhancing them for the TV experience, even though they'll run out of the box. Early 2011, we'll be la launching the Android market with an over-the-air update, as well as Google TV SDK and TV Web API, so we can actually do a lot of the integration you saw today. And then finally, summer 2011, we will open source the platform into the Android and Chrome source trees. This is an incredibly exciting time for users, for developers, for everyone in the TV ecosystem. By taking the best of what TV has to offer today and the best of what the web has to offer today, we can create an entirely new entertainment experience, one that's built on openness. And we can enable new forms of innovation in the living room we've never seen before. <clears throat> 